Hi, fourth grade. Uh, my name is uh, Mrs. Nita Meyer. I teach fourth grade at Pleasant Valley. Um, and today um, I'm here to um, do your second social studies lesson with you. I hope everybody is doing well and staying healthy and learning and having fun as well. Um, so we'll go ahead and just do a quick review of yesterday's lesson. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you so that you can see um, the article as well. Okay, so um, yesterday, again, you read the first part of this article titled Blood, Smoke, and Freedom, a true story of the American Revolution. And you read with Mrs. Rambo, um, boom, boom, boom. And you also read A New World. And then you were asked to do a crossword puzzle. And so I thought we first would go over the answers to the crossword puzzle. So here is the puzzle. And as you previewed the article yesterday as well, you were able to see a lot of these words um, highlighted and bolded within your text. So again, if you completed the crossword yesterday, here are the answers. We hope you had fun with it and you enjoyed it and learned some. So today uh, with me, we're going to go ahead and read the third heading and that is titled Getting Ready to Fight. And here's your heading right here, Getting Ready to Fight. So I'm going to go ahead and read this with you, and then we will read uh, the pause and think question, and we'll go from there. So here we go, titled, Getting Ready to Fight. At first, the thought of fighting scared Joseph, but his courage grew. Soon, he wanted to join the new American army. In June of 1776, his family said yes. Joseph sailed to the New York City. This big bustling city had been turned into an American army camp. I was now what I had long wished to be, he later wrote, a soldier. But Joseph wasn't really a soldier yet. And neither were most of the nearly 20,000 men and teenagers in the American army. They were just regular people like Joseph. Some could barely fire a gun. Their leader, General George Washington, had never led an army before. All summer, he struggled to turn this group into strong fighters. Joseph didn't complain about shooting practice or endless marching. He choked down the army meals such as wormy biscuits and flavorless meat. He coped with the summer heat and a stink of garbage and human waste. Still, he was excited to be a soldier. So there we have it. Um, and then we have our pause and think question here. And today that question reads, what did Joseph and others need to learn to become soldiers? So I want you to pause and think about that question. If you have a piece of paper or a notebook there, um, you can jot that answer down. Or if you have a family member nearby, you can also just share your thoughts with that family member. Again, it reads, what did Joseph and others need to learn to become soldiers? And don't forget, you can always reread, go back and reread as well. Okay, so um, after you have done that, uh, what we would like for you to do today is look up here at the maps that you have also in this article. And if you look at the one on page six of the 13 colonies, we would like for you to create a map of your own of the 13 colonies. Okay. Um, again, if you have a piece of paper or in your notebook, you can create a map of the 13 colonies, or you can also talk about it with somebody at home as well. And then finally, today, um, if you have some extra time um, on the lesson, 
we also have a Liberty Kids posted for you. And that Liberty Kids um, is titled Shots Heard Round the World. So um, again, uh, we hope that you enjoyed this reading and that you're able to talk about these pause and think question, questions. And again, um, if, if you would also try to create a map of your own, um, of the 13 colonies there. And again, if you have some extra time, you can view the Liberty Kids video titled Shots Heard Round the World. So I uh, hope you enjoyed our lesson today and um, please keep learning, have fun and stay healthy. And we'll talk to you tomorrow. Thank you.